It's Thursday, December 29th, and Amazon is giving us yet another glimpse into its vision of the future, and this idea is pretty out there. Amazon received a patent for what it's calling an airborne fulfillment center. Yep, it's a warehouse and drone airport hanging from a blimp. The idea is that it would fly around at 45,000 feet and delivery drones would glide down with Amazon packages, delivering goodies within minutes of when they're ordered. Instead of having the empty drones fly all the way back up to the mothership, they instead would meet up with the smaller restocking blimps for the flight back up. Amazon points out that this would be useful at football games where it could stock the blimp up with stuff for tailgaters and park them over the stadium. But would that really work? Won't too many of the beer drones just get hijacked by rowdy fans? Leave a comment and let us know. With all the press Tesla's autopilot system has received for getting into a handful of accidents, it's only fair to point out that it prevents accidents too. The latest example is this video out of Germany. On the Autobahn, it shows a Tesla Model X issuing a warning and automatically braking nearly two seconds before an accident happens in front of it. The driver of the Tesla says that he started to hit the brakes as soon as he saw the accident happening, but the car was already almost stopped at that point. So what do you think? Do the benefits of autopilot outweigh the risks? And finally today, Twitter is bringing 360 degree live video to its Periscope live streaming platform. Watching a live 360 video on Periscope is just like what you'd see on Facebook or YouTube. Simply turning your phone or tapping and scrolling around the screen shows different parts of the 360 scene. If you want to shoot 360 live, you'll need to get your hands on the Insta360 Nano camera. It clips onto the back of compatible smartphones and makes shooting 360 live video just as easy as using the normal camera on your phone. Right now, now, Periscope 360 Live is only available to a small select group of users, but that should be expanding over the coming weeks. Thanks for watching DT Daily today. We'll be back with our CES preview episode tomorrow and watch next week for our live coverage from CES in Las Vegas.